Each new release of Red Hat OpenShift includes usability updates and new features to help improve the developer experience. In OpenShift 4.5, we've provided improved navigation. To help with discoverability, we've moved to a flat navigation that has three sections. The first section of the navigation is task-based. You'll find the plus add menu here, as well as the topology view, monitoring, and search. The second section is object-based. This section provides access to builds and build configs, pipelines, Helm releases, and information about your project. The third section is a customizable area that allows for developers to add their most frequently accessed resources for quick access. By default, config maps and secrets will be populated in this area, but you can add additional ones if you choose. To do that, you can go to search, search for the type of resource you want to add. I'll search for routes. And on the page, you can click this link here to add that to the navigation. You'll see that it shows up there. If you want to remove one of these items from the navigation, you can click the minus icon. These improvements to the navigation and the developer perspective should make it easier and quicker for you to interact with your projects. Next, application health checks are back in the web console in OpenShift 4.5. This was one of the most requested features we've heard from application developers. Health checks can be used to determine if your application is working. If an instance of your application isn't working, other services shouldn't access it or try to send requests. Application health checks can be added in the web console in the advanced options section when you're deploying an application. You can find them here under health checks. You have the ability to add readiness probes, liveness probes, or startup probes. And there are form-based options here to add those to your application. If health checks weren't added during application creation, don't worry. When an object is selected in topology view, the side panel will show you a health check notification stating that health checks haven't been configured. You can either add health checks via this link here or from the in context menus. Health checks can be edited with the edit health checks menu item here. You can click edit probe to modify the settings on any of the health checks that you've already added. There's now support in the web console for users to upgrade Helm releases, either to a new version or by editing the YAML directly. You can click upgrade, choose the chart version that you want to upgrade to. There's rollback support as well, including the ability to see all the revisions in the revisions tab of a Helm release detail page. There's also an uninstall action, which cleans up all the resources that were added during the Helm chart install. So it's now possible to control the whole Helm chart lifecycle from the OpenShift web console. For developers who use OpenShift serverless, you'll notice that you now have the ability to create event sources in the web console. Event sources provide a mechanism for event providers to connect to your application and send events. In Knative, events are based on the cloud event specification, a mechanism to describe event data in a cloud agnostic way. Developers now have a form-based mechanism to create event sources and use a Knative service as a sync or destination for the events. Last but not least, there are a number of enhancements to OpenShift Pipeline's capabilities in the web console, including adding triggers to pipelines with webhook support, mounting volumes as workspaces when starting a pipeline, and providing credentials for Git repos and image registries as needed. If you're ready to get started with OpenShift 4.5 and try some of these new features, head on over to openshift.com try for several different ways you can create a cluster of your own.